Hey, flamethrowers, it's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here. And I'm just relaxing on the beach at Emerald Coast. <sighs> you know, all this week, I have been dealing with a whole bunch of mess. Classic Eggman pulling his little tricks. Ugh. As Death and I working on some new ice techniques. Uh, Midnight and Mount Lady are after me. I mean, I don't know what the heck is up with these girls that's always coming after me. It's just crazy. So I just decided to take a little uh, rest on the beach. Luckily, and unfortunately, I didn't want to be alone. So I decided to bring some friends along, including my beautiful wife, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Yep, and I also brought on Amy and Sally. Um, they should be here in a few moments. Oh, here they are. Hey, Flame. Hey, Flame. Glad you invited us. Yeah, I'm glad I invited you too as well. By the way, love the new swimsuits. You like them? Um, me and Amy, we just went to the mall the other day, and we got these on layaway. You see, they're supposed to be matching. Well, I can see how they're matching. I mean, they both kind of look the same a little bit. Except yours is blue and hers is pink. Yeah, well, I really like it. I hope Sonic likes it. I'm pretty sure he will. By the way, where is Sonic anyway? Oh, he's out for his run, but I told him that we were... I, but I told him to meet me at the uh, Chili Dog restaurant in a few moment, in a few minutes. Okay, well, this won't take long, I promise, Amy. You'll make your date on time. Alright, besides, maybe if I catch a few sun raises, maybe I might look even more prettier for Sonic. I mean, Amy, don't get me wrong, you already are pretty enough. I'm pretty sure he'll think that you're really pretty. Aw, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just glad I'm sitting here with my good friends and my wife by my side. I mean, I've been through a whole lot. I mean, the last thing I need is dealing with some crazy um, mess right now. Um, Flame? Yes, Allie? Isn't that your ex fiance Charlene, over there playing volleyball? Wait a minute, what the... Oh, no, that is her. Why in the world is she here? I don't know. Of all the beaches on Mobius, she had to pick this one. Well, Sarah, you're forgetting it's a free beach. Anybody could come here. Yeah, that's true, but why does she have to come over here? I don't know. Maybe if we don't, maybe if we just don't say anything, maybe she'll go away. I highly doubt that, Flame, because she's coming over here. Wait a minute, what? Oh, Flame. Oh my gosh, it is Charlene. Uh, Charlene, what the world are you doing here? Oh, I just decided to play volleyball for a little while. By the way, you like my new bikini? Uh, no comment. I'm just saying, uh, it's something, but don't you think it's a little bit too <clears throat> revealing? What's wrong with the human body? Well, you're not a human. Well, you're not a human. Well, yes, but don't you think that there's... Don't you think my body is beautiful? I mean, it's something, but my wife has a much prettier body than you. Are you kidding me? Yes, absolutely. I mean, hello, she's my wife for crying out loud. Yes, and speaking of which, what the world are you doing on this beach in the first place? Well, I've been here all morning. What are you doing here? Well, I came here to, you know, relax and relieve stress. Alongside my friends, Amy and Sally. You remember them. Oh, yes. It's nice to see you again. Um, your majesties. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Yeah, well, anyway, as I said, I'm here just relaxing because... I just want to get away for a while because my friend Asdeath and I, we just got done working on this new ice technique and not to mention, not to mention I just got done dealing with classic Eggman and his shenanigans and stuff. It's driving me nuts. Uh, 
so I just decided to sit back and relax. Yeah, and it's a good thing you don't have to deal with Mount Lady in Midnight. Shh, Amy. Um, excuse me, but who is this Mount Lady and this Midnight? Um, like I'm gonna tell you, Charlene. Ugh, but I might as well. You see, Charlene, you see, Charlene, uh, they're from the world of My Hero Academia. Midnight, she is a black-haired, blue-eyed, red-mask-wearing, uh, seductive superhero. Her power is she can put people to sleep. And who knows what she'll do to them while they're asleep. She's really, really seductive, and she's easily turned on by a few things. Youth and being the dominant one. Luckily, I'm not the dominant one, right? No, of course not, Sarah. I mean... You're sometimes, but not all the time. And as for Mount Lady, she's she's a blonde, pink, pink-eyed, uh, purple mask wearing woman, uh, and her power is that she can grow to the size of a building. Well, she can grow. Well, she can grow into many sizes if she wants to, but she can't shrink. She can only grow. Uh, and the thing is, they're both coming after me. They don't know that I'm onto them, but they... But they, um, yeah. Hmm, sounds to me like you have girl trouble. Well, I already am having girl trouble with you being here! I mean, didn't I just get a new restraining order on you? Yes, but I got it revoked. Oh my gosh. What is up with you getting my restraining orders revoked? Come on, Flame. You know that you can't keep get away from me. Oh my gosh. How many times do I have to tell you I don't like you? Look, what we had in the past is is supposed to be in the past. And there's no way I'm going to be involved in some harem mess. I mean, I almost was, thanks to Classic Eggman, but not anymore, okay? I am not going to be coming a pimp named Flame the Dragonhog. It doesn't matter if you do got some thangs or some chicken wangs going on. I am not adding you to my relationship with Sarah. We are happily married, and there's no way that I'm picking you over her. Yeah, that's right. I mean, think about it. Flame and I, we understand each other. Plus, not to mention, I get really, really emotional when Flame hangs out with some other girl that he thinks that's prettier than me. Now, name one girl that I thought was prettier than you. Rouge. Okay, I do have to admit, Rouge is pretty, but that's just how she is. She always makes herself look pretty. Okay, name another girl. Sally. I mean, you do I mean, you do have a point there. Sally, she is attractive. I mean, come on. She once dated my brother Sonic, and Sonic found her attractive. Isn't that right, Sally? Yes, that's true. Yeah, and how about you? Um, okay, so Sarah, how about one other person? Amy. Okay, um, yeah, Amy, I do find you attractive, but you're married to my brother Sonic. Of course he finds you attractive. I mean, have you seen all the fan art that people made of you being attractive and stuff? I mean, don't get me wrong, you, I mean, you are attractive, Amy, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can see why Sonic was steady running away from you, he was just stunned by your beauty. Aw, stop, you're making me blush. I mean, I'm serious, I mean, think about it, if I wasn't married, if I wasn't married, Amy, I would go after you, or Sally, or I would, or I would definitely stick with Sarah, because obviously, I, because obviously, you guys do have some things with some chicken wangs going on. I mean, cute in the face. I mean, come on. Cute in the face, beautiful eyes, wonderful personality, great figures, and all sorts of things. I would definitely go for you guys if I wasn't married. But the one girl in this world I would definitely not go with is right over there. I am not going with Charlene. Why? Is because you're a spoiled brat. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, my gosh. That was supposed to be an insult. By the way, um, you look a little bit different. I just now noticed. Ah, oh, well, I had some plastic... Well, I had some implants done. Yeah, I can tell. Don't you think they're weighing you down a little bit? No, not really. <laughs> You'll be surprised how many men always stare at me. 
Oh my gosh. They're probably staring at you wondering when are they going to pop. Which is never. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Charlene, if you don't mind, I just want to spend some time with my wife and my friends and just relax. Anyway, uh, I just want to sit back and relax and enjoy the beach without nothing going on and something and more and something else stressing me out. Uh, I mean, I'm already stressed out. This is just hurting me. Oh, would you like me to give you a massage, honey? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You. Aw, oh, well, thank, well, no problem. Thank you, Sarah. Mm. Hey, quick question. Why is it that... Hey, I got a question for you. What is it, Charlene? Why in the world did you fall for her in the first place? I mean, come on. Think about it. I'm all flesh and bones while she is flesh and gears. She's all flesh and gears... Well, I'm the real deal. Why in the world would you want to go for a robot freak like her? Okay, for okay, number one, don't ever call my wife a robot freak. Number two, ask her mother, Bunny Rabbit. She's the one she's the one that's also I mean, ask I mean ask Antoine. I mean ask Antoine the coyote. He's the one that married her mother, which is also a robot freak. No offense, uh, no offense, uh, Sarah. None taken. Anyway, anyway, and, and two, the reason why is because I love her, okay? I love her so much, despite the fact that she does have a robot arm. Yes, despite the fact that she does have a robot arm, she is beautiful, a kind personality, a kind personality, and sure, she could have been roboticized all the way, but no, she is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. I absolutely love Sarah. Not you. I mean, what, I mean, most people, I mean, most people seem to think, I mean, come on, most people seem to think that some guys go after girls just by their looks. Sure, I used to be that guy, but not anymore. I go after girls from by their personalities to see if they match mine. And Sarah, um, she somewhat has a fiery personality, um, like some people, but I still love her. And I would never leave her. And besides, even if I would, and plus, even if I would leave her, it would be too late anyway. But nope, 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 that is not happening. So sorry, I am not doing that. And as for the harem thing, sure, some people are into it, but not me. And even if I was, I'm pretty sure Sarah, she wouldn't let me have a harem because the reason why is because she's not used to that whole sharing relationship thing. She's not used to the whole sharing relationship thing. I mean, some people are into it. I mean, look at my friend, the boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. He has Sky and the girlfriend. And then there's my friend Knuckles. He's dating to call Rouge, Julie Sue, and Shade. And you know why? It's because those boys really like making those girls happy. They always fight over them all the time. So what does he do? They date all of them just to make them happy. So let me tell you something, Charlene the Hedgehog. I, I don't care if you stomp or scream and bang your little head on the floor till blood comes out of your ears i i will never ever date you and i do apologize for burping that was from the uh lunch i had earlier but the point is i am not in love with you okay i am not in love with you i am in, i am in love with my wife sarah okay <sighs> well i get the message i guess but, can we at least be friends? No, we can't be friends. Reason why is because you've done so much to my family. You invaded mine and Sarah's honeymoon trying to split us up. You started passing on these fake rumors about me saying that I two-timed you. Or what's next? Or what's next? I gotten you pregnant or something? Which definitely did not happen. Um, Lane? 
Uh, what is it, Charlene? I am pregnant. With your baby. Wait a minute. What? Wait. What? Flame, are you trying to tell me? Wait, Flame, is she just... Did she just say what I think she said? She said that she's pregnant and I'm the father. What the world? What the world? Charlene, how could this be? I didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. Sarah, you gotta believe me. I didn't do anything. Well, I believe you. But tell me, how the world are you pregnant and Flame didn't even do anything? Well, I may have hired a professional to, you know, collect some of your sample and put it into me, which made me pregnant. Oh my gosh, what the crap? I'm sorry, that was just way back in the day, okay? This was way back in the day. I mean, I really, really was in love with you and I wanted to have your baby, so I hired a professional to, you know, take some of your sample and put it into me and it got me pregnant. At first it didn't work, but then we tried it a few more times. It still didn't work, but then the last time it finally got me pregnant. So, yeah, congratulations. You're going to be a father again. Oh my gosh, what the world? What the world? Why did you do this? Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I mean, I just wanted to have your baby so badly. Plus, not to mention, that's the whole reason why I got these implants. So that way, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what am I going to do? Oh my gosh, I don't know either. Oh my gosh. Well, um, Flame, it looks like you got some things that you need to work out here. Um. Uh, I honestly don't know what to do, um, Sally. I honestly don't know what to do. I mean, has Monkey Con ever done anything like this? Um, don't ever say that name around me. And no, he didn't. Okay. Um, Amy, what about Sonic? Has he done anything like this? Nope. Not, nope. Not my version, actually, but I'm pretty sure Archie Sonic has. No, I'm pretty sure Archie Sonic has not. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, sure, Archie Sonic, he, I mean, there's multiple different versions of him. In some timelines, he's married to Sally, and some timelines, he's married to you, and other timelines, he's married to Blaze, but other time, but, uh, I don't know what to do about this. Well, Flame, we better think of something. Um, when's the baby due, Sarah? I mean, Charlene, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, when's the baby due, Charlene? Um, honestly, I don't really know. I don't know when the baby's supposed to be due. Like, in a few months? Okay, so we only have a few months to try and figure this out. Wait a minute, hang on. Charlene, how do you even know that that baby is mine? Well, hello, like I said, I hired a professional to take your sample. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think we might need to talk to somebody. I have an idea. Amy, you said that you needed to go see Sonic, right? Right. Okay, well, you hurry up and go get dressed. Do You do have your outfit, right? Yeah, it's in my beach bag. Okay, well, you can change while I instant transmission out. We, we can, you can change while we instant transmission, okay? All right. Okay, Sarah, Sally, you guys head home. You guys head home while I try and talk to Sonic about this. Alright, well so much for this nice stressless day at the beach. I'm sorry Sarah, to make it up to you, to make it up to you, how about we have some dinner tonight and maybe later on we can- Nope, nope, that later on has got you into enough trouble. You just said you weren't mad at me. I'm not, it's just that I'm really worried. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. But anyway, come on, Amy. Hey, let's head back. Sally, I'll probably talk to you later. You too, Sarah. Anyway, instant transmission. Let's do this, Amy. Ready. Hmm, I wonder where Amy is supposed to be. Okay. Whew. Here you go, Amy. Thanks. Uh, by the way, that instant transmission really did wonders for my outfit. <laughs> Well, you're welcome. Anyway, hey, bro. Hey, um, bro. 
What the world is up with you? What's up with you? Well, I'm going through some things right now, and uh, I got a bit of a problem. Oh, really? What is it? Um, Amy, would you like to tell him? Sure. Um, you know Flame's ex fiance Charlene? Um, yeah. The crazy bitch. Yeah, she is crazy. And you know how she's always trying to get pregnant with my baby? Yeah. Well, she is. Wait, what? Okay, okay, hold up. Hold up, pause, rewind, play button. Bring it up to me step by step, please. Just tell me. Okay, well, me, Amy, Sally, and Sarah, we were just chilling at the beach, minding our own business. The next thing you know, here comes, then here comes Charlene trying to intervene on us. I set her straight. I set her straight that I didn't want to be with her. And then I made this remark saying, it's not like that she was pregnant with my child or anything. And then, out of the blue, she says, she is. Wait, she, wait, you said that she's actually pregnant with your child? Yeah. But... You didn't cheat on Sarah, did you? No, I didn't. No, as crazy as she is, she hired a professional to steal some of my sample and put it into her, which got her pregnant with my baby. Okay, and like I said before, well, okay, like we've been saying before, that girl is crazy. So honestly, I don't know what the heck to do. Um. I mean, uh, I really don't know what I can tell you, bro. I mean, I've never been in a situation like this. I mean, sure, I have dated a lot of girls in the past, but I've never been in a situation where I married one girl, and then I got another, then eventually this other girl got pregnant with my baby. Well, I honestly don't know what to do, bro. I really don't know what to do. I've never been in a situation like this. I love Sarah too much, okay? But what am I going to do now? I mean, in a few months, this other baby is going to be coming. In a few months, this other baby is going to be coming soon. And then, and then what's going to happen? I'm going to have another person going to be walking around that's looking like me. Uh, and you know how fast, and you know how fast dragon hog babies can grow. Yeah, I know. Even though, um, I'm a hedgehog and Amy's a hedgehog and our baby grew fast. Yeah, well, dragon hog babies are a whole lot different. They grow in a few months. They grow in a few months. They become a full-fledged teenager in only a few months. Uh, well, again, bro, I don't know what to tell you. You really do need to think about this. Yeah, I really do need to think about this. What the heck am I going to do? I really don't know what to do. Well, my best bet is you should talk to somebody. Talk to somebody who kind of already had this situation before. Who? Who among our friends or any of my friends married somebody and then another girl ends up pregnant with their baby and they haven't done anything to them? Tell me. Who? Who exactly? Who? Okay, okay, okay. Stop hooing. You're not an owl. Ugh. Again, I really don't know what to tell you, Flame. I mean, come on. It's just crazy. So now, but you know, if you want, we could go on this game show. I mean, if you want, we could go on this TV show. I mean, it's kind of like Maury. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so this is getting crazy. So, okay, so if it's anything like Maury, that means they're going to see the test results and see... If I'm the father or not? Yeah. For all we know, Charlene, she could be lying. I mean, she could be just lying just to weasel into your relationship. She might be lying. I mean, this whole hiring a professional and stuff, that sounds too complex. Well, don't forget, Flame, she is rich. Yeah, that is true. She is rich. She could hire, she can hire a professional if she wants to. I mean, she could hire a professional if she wants to. But, um, I honestly don't know. Uh, well, I guess we could do this thing. All right, I'll see, I'll run down to the news studio and s I'll run down to the radio studio to see if we can arrange something. Yeah, 
In the meantime, I need to relieve all this stress and stuff. Because later on today, I'm going to be heading on over to Anti-Mobius to see if I can try and find Ty the Echidna. You mean the anti-version of To Call the Echidna? Yeah, I heard that you're going to be going after that. I heard that you're going to be going out there. But wait, weren't you supposed to be going out there yesterday? I had things I needed to do first. I had things I needed to do first. I mean, think about it. I did it. Think about it. I did a Google video yesterday with Rouge and Verasica Mayday from Hello of a Boss. I did a Has Been Hotel um, thing of Dater Pass. You were there. Yeah, I was. And then, and then Verasica, she helped me announce who was going to be next on Ask the Sonic Crew, which was, which is MIP. And then, last but not least, I did a Chillin' with Flame yesterday when I met Verasica and her, and her suck, and her succubus crew. So, basically, that was just my whole schedule. I mean, I couldn't fit all that in there. So, today, I'm gonna be going out there to go see if I can try and find Ty. Oh, and, uh, by the way, Takal said she's gonna try her new, um, magic girl outfit. Oh, you mean where me, Shadow, and Silver are going to be wearing heels? Yep. And, and Amy, she actually grew accustomed to her outfit. Yeah, I actually like mine. <laughs> if only people can see the transformation sequence, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. But anyway, I'll just leave you two alone with your date while I try and sort things out. All right, well, not like I said, I'll head on over to the studio to see if we can try and arrange something. All right, well, Amy, if I ever need any help or some backup or some uh, advice, I know who to call. Of course, I'm always here for you, Flame. I mean, I'm your sister-in-law. We gotta stick together. In fact, I'll probably call Rocky. I'll probably call Rocky. She'll probably help me with something. In fact, maybe later on I'll call a Dragon Hog meeting. Yeah, later on I'll call a Dragon Hog meeting. Maybe this, maybe something might go down because obviously this is just getting insane. I really don't know what the heck is going on. I mean, come on, man, Charlene pregnant, uh, and I didn't even do anything. But, but here's something. <sighs> if I'm not the father, then Charlene, she probably has some answers that, she probably has some questions that needs to be answered. And if I am the father, then I don't know what to do. Do I like, will I need to take responsibility for this or I don't know. I really don't know. But but here's the thing. I don't want to be a deadbeat dad and if I am the father, I guess I do need to take responsibility for it. Cuz if I am the father, then I got to step up. Anyway, anyway, like I said before, I'll leave you guys to your date. I'll see you guys back at the house. All right. Don't worry, Flame. We'll get through this. All right. Well, can I at least get a can I at least get a brother hug? Yeah. Come here. Ugh. Thanks. I really am going to I really do need this. Don't worry, Flame. Everything's going to be fine. Can I at least get a sister-in-law hug? Yeah. Come here, Amy. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll probably be okay. The big question is, is how the heck Sarah's gonna take this? Hey, she left, hey, we left her calm, and who knows, and who knows, she might be okay. I don't know. Sarah is a really easily triggered person. One wrong move and she easily gets mad. Well, yeah, that is true. But I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure she won't do anything too drastic. I really hope not. I really hope not. I mean, worst thing that she can do is probably sneak inside the hospital after the baby's born and kill it. But I know Sarah. She's not going to be doing that. I hope not. Ugh. But anyway, like I said, let's, anyway, like I said before, I'll just leave you guys alone. Yeah, don't worry, Flame. Everything's going to be fine. Mm. Ah, thanks, Amy. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. All right, bro. Take it easy. I'll probably bring you back a chili dog. Thanks. I do love this place as chili dogs. <sighs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Flame. See you, bro.